Yi Jitsu est un acteur canadien né à Hong Kong. Il interpréta le rôle du compagnon du docteur et du master, Chang Li, dans le téléfilm de 1996. Il a récemment sorti un livre contenant de nombreuses photos prises lors du tournage. Nous l'avons croisé à la convention The Capitol au Royaume-Uni et lui avons donc posé quelques questions. Mais notre horloge déréglée a encore fait des siennes et nous l'avons donc interviewé dans le passé, le présent et le futur. Nous sommes en 2016. Comment allez-vous et que pensez-vous de The Capitol Yeah, it's been fun. I I I haven't uh, I haven't actually been to a convention in England for for a while except for the the 50th anniversary, the the Doctor Who the big celebration they had there. Um so yeah, it's nice. Nous sommes en 1996. Vous interprétez Chang Li dans le téléfilm Doctor Who, le Seigneur du Temps. Que pensez-vous de cette expérience I okay, let me think. As I was in 96. Well, I think it's pretty cool. I am excited to play the part and not really knowing what to expect. Um and uh, yeah, so it's it's mostly just exciting and not knowing. <laughs> like I don't know, I remember I think in 96 I was still a fairly ignorant young person. So <laughs> Le master est-il un bon père Yeah, you know, he does actually have this sort of like father like relationship with with Lee it's it's interesting that Eric had sort of created this off I don't know if he created it or if it was just how he was but there was an off-screen kind of dynamic between Eric and I I feel like that, that sort of mimics the um, the on-screen one right maybe it's the other way around I talk about it in the book too you can read it Nous sommes en 1982 vous avez 7 ans que regardez-vous à la télévision I was watching a lot of TV at that time okay let me think so Doctor Who was on there There was like some cartoons that came on after school. Um, there was things like Knight Rider and Star Trek. I was one of those kids that like my parents were working late and I would come home from school and let myself in and then just like turn the TV on. <laughs> and I was doing a bunch of other stuff too at the same time. I wasn't even watching the TV half the time, but it was there. It was always on and there. And so it was mostly the theme songs that I remember. I remember the theme songs probably more than the shows themselves. Dun, 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 dun. You know that 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 Night Rider song, right? Night Rider, so that's a show. Um, then of course there's the Doctor Who, and then there's also the um, um, there's also the uh, what other ones? Dukes of Hazard, yeah. Um, just the good old boys, never meaning no harm. You know, funny. Que voulez-vous faire quand vous serez grand? I don't think I was thinking about it at that point. I. Th I think maybe when I was seven, I might have wanted to be an inventor. Nous sommes en 2017. Okay. Votre livre Time and Spaces est un succès. En êtes-vous content? Yes, I'm very pleased. It's like I knew that people would want to see it, but I didn't know how many. But I didn't really care if like 50 people, 10 people got the book and was really interested in it. Then that would be enough for me, right? Because I was basically just putting it together because I, I think it needed to be out there. Um, those photos were not not meant to be sitting in a box, right? So I'm just happy that they're now out and, and people have a chance to see. I mean, even after this weekend already, probably more books have, you know, have gone out than I, than I thought would happen. So I'm, I'm elated. Nous sommes en 2026. Doctor Who, le film 2, où vous reprenez le rôle de Chang Li, sort bientôt sur nos écrans. Pouvez-vous nous expliquer de quoi il parle et nous dire ce que vous pensez du nouveau docteur interprété par... Mm, qui donc déjà Oh gosh I gotta think about this one. Daniel Radcliffe. Only because um, my kids love Harry Potter. Actually, you know what should happen This is, this is what should happen. They should have a female doctor. So instead of Daniel Radcliffe, it could be Emma Watson, for example, from Harry Potter. And then my kids would be like, oh, wow, it's like, you know, dad's working with Hermione. And, and I would be like, hey, kids, I'm working with Hermione. Okay, so Chang Lee, what does Chang Lee do in that situation? I think he does some kind of tech thing, some kind of like a, like maybe he like started up some sort of tech company with the gold that he got. I, th I think he's gotten out of the gang thing. I think that he kind of figured that out that that wasn't really working out. Yeah, that would be interesting to see. Emma Watson is the doctor and Chang Lee's in there as a tech company owner guy doing something. I don't know, who knows? Who knows? Maybe he's about to make a horrible mistake. Maybe he's about to create some technology that the doctor knows will turn into some horrible disaster later on. And he, she, has come back 
to say, don't do that. And I'm like, doctor? And he's like, yeah, remember I saved your life or whatever. And, um, or I saved your life. I saved your life. I was the one who did the life saving. I would be like, remember I saved your life. And she would be like, yes, but now you have to stop making that thing that you're making. And I'd be like, okay. Nous sommes en 1991. Que retenez-vous de votre première expérience télévisuelle dans Hillside? My friend Jory Groberman brought me to that audition. I remember I was in high school and he, one day he was like, Yeet, you want to come to an audition? I'm going to this audition and you should come. I'm like, okay. And, uh, and I got a role in that, in that thing. And, and I guess it was one of the things that sort of set in my mind that maybe I might be an actor one day. There was a, um, there's a dude, um, Ryan Reynolds, who I think also did his first gig on that, on that show. He was only like 12 at the time. I mean, I can't say that it was necessarily quality television, <laughs> but uh, it was a start. <laughs> de retour en 2016, avez-vous un message pour vos fans français? French fans? Oh yes, because we are French. We oui, <laughs> oui. Uh, mes enfants, um, boom, les enfants françaises, et j'essaie d'apprendre, comprendre français. <laughs> It's really bad. I'm so sorry. I took French in high school, um, and so and then I didn't speak it for 25 years or whatever until my kids started going to French immersion. So it's really embarrassing. I'm, I live in Canada. I'm supposed to know French, but I'm just really bad at it. Sorry. I try. Merci à Yijitso pour sa gentillesse et sa bonne humeur, ainsi qu'à la Doctor Who Appreciation Society qui a organisé la convention The Capitol. Des et à bientôt pour de futures interviews.